What's up, beautiful people? So for business leaders, entrepreneurs, and investors, and just everyday people, risks are a part of life and are a part of the journey. And so if you want to be successful, if you want to achieve your dreams, you do have to take some risks. And so embracing risk can be scary. It can be hard. People can be scared. People can be fearful. But embracing risk will help you embrace wealth. And so I'm going to talk about some tips from some really successful people on how they embrace wealth and risk and created the life that they wanted to. All right. So the first thing is that everything is a risk. Going to the grocery store is a risk. Like driving to an amusement park is a risk. Being born is risky. It's risky, right? Like you could die. That's part of what risk is. Something bad could happen. And so are you going to let that hold you back? Are you going to say, all right, I'm born. I need to stay in a bubble. Oh my gosh. Or um, whatever. And so instead it's like, okay, I need to drive to go to the amusement park. And we really want to go have a fun time and go experience that and go ride those rides. So we have to put the risk out there and go for it. And so if you can translate risk with those everyday things into business or into a goal or something you want to do, there is risk. There is risk that you will be embarrassed. There is risk that you will fail. There is risk that you could look stupid or whatever. But are you going to let that risk prevent you from getting what you want? And is it enough to hold you back? And so you have to really determine that. Is the risk worth it? And so you have to decide that for yourself. And most wealthy people and successful people determine that that risk is worth the reward. Number two, I really like this line. A risk-free investment is every investor's dream, right? Like who would not like to have no risk or would love to have no risk? Be like, all right, I'm going to invest all of this. This is going to be the... But that defeats the purpose, right? Like some of the best things involve taking that chance, taking the risk. And that is part of what makes it feel beautiful and exciting. And so you can mitigate the risk, you can reduce it, you can manage it, you can also deny it. But at the end of the day, you can never eliminate it. And so it's going to be there. And so understanding that risk is there and you can't get rid of it. You just have to accept it. It is a part of life. It's a part of playing the game. It's a part of achieving what you want. Just like failure is typically the path to success. It's a part of that path. Embracing risk is too, because like if you want to buy a house, especially in the housing market right now, like there's a risk, there's a risk. It could go down. And so you could either say, you know what, I'm not going to do that or Um, and I'm going to rent, um, or I'm going to work and wait until my business, um, makes enough money or my job makes enough money or whatever. Or you could say, you know what, I'm going to go for it and I'm going to stay in my house as long as I can, or, um, I'm going to trust things are going to work out. And so I do encourage you to think about it and not just like make any decision, but to also know that risk is just a part of the game and a part of life. And that's okay. Number three, have you heard of analysis paralysis? So even in number two, I started talking about like buying a house. And so this can lead you to overthinking. If you are trying to make the best decision and trying to avoid risk, well, what if we end up losing all of our money? Or what if the housing market goes down or this? Like you're going to get lost in those thoughts and it's going to prevent you from achieving what you want. It's going to prevent you from moving forward. And so maybe taking that chance would have been a good thing or it would have worked out, but you didn't take that chance. And so be willing to take the risk, be willing to take the chance and decide if it is worth it to you. And so take the time to think, but then cap it and say, all right, I'm going to think for two days. I'm going to think about this for a week. I'm going to think about this for one hour, whatever, and then make the decision. And then you can adjust along the way. Do you want to disclaim that this one is really hard for me or that one is really hard for me because I love to think, I love to analyze, I love to figure out all the different sides of things, but it can hold you back. And so there is the risk, right, that you're going to make the wrong decision, but decide that for yourself. Would you rather make the wrong decision and then figure out what to do from there or never take action on anything? Number four, most things that make life worth living is on the other side of risk. Crazy if you think about it, right? Like love finding the right partner. It's risky to put yourself out there and ask um, someone out on a date or to put your emotions out there or um, reveal yourself as a person and all of your quirks and habits and et cetera. Um, Passion, happiness, success, all that stuff is on the other side of risk and on the other side of putting yourself out there, right? And um, it's not fun to feel some of those emotions or people want to protect themselves from feeling that or feeling like they messed up or that they made a mistake or feeling really sad if you get your heart broken or whatever. But I realized that in order to feel those really, really great emotions and those happy emotions and just the best parts of life, it's going to come with potentially those downsides. And so you have to decide, is the upside worth it? Is being able to have that amazing partnership? Is it worth it to go for that business or go for that goal? Is it worth that upside? to know that you're also going to have some of those downsides. And so you have to decide that for yourself. But typically, really good things do have downsides as well. 
an article I read and I kind of already talked about it, but the author said that if he was so scared, if he was worried about being embarrassed, he was so scared to go talk to his now wife, but if he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have been married to her for 32 years and had his children and have built the life that they did and have this beautiful marriage and relationship. And so it might not be a relationship for you, but that's an easy one that I think a lot of people can understand and relate to. But what is that one thing that if you don't take that risk or you don't take, put yourself out there, you will never get that. And does that scare you or does that make you upset? Or would your 85 year old self be like, dang, I should have gone for it. Most people don't regret what they did. They might not like it and they might be like, oh, I can't believe I did that. But typically they regret more what you didn't do. And maybe that's not you, but I know for a lot of successful people, they would, they regret or would regret what they didn't do. And so that's why they do it. By avoiding risk, you might be guaranteeing failure, right? Because if you're so scared, you avoid it, you're never going to get what you want. Just like with the relationship, if you just avoid asking anyone you think would be a great person to ask out, you just avoid it, you're never going to actually get the relationship that you want, which you want to a relationship in theory, if you're asking for someone, um, asking people out, etc. And so you have to just get over it. And honestly, that's where a little tough love comes in. And you have to say, you know what, I need to get over this. This fear is holding me back in my life from achieving what I want, from finding the right partner, from finding the right job, from bringing out the best in myself. And I deserve to live the life that I want to live. And other people deserve that from me as well. And so get over it and move on and move forward and figure out how you can, how you can get over it and how you can get through it because it is possible to get over those feelings if you do the work and if you're willing to get there. So we know that risk can be hard. It can be uncomfortable, but a tactic to manage it, and I can do more tactics on this if you're interested as well, but is to know that it is a risk. And so if you're investing, you know, hey, this is a risk, but you're going to learn about it. So the best way to avoid risk is to get educated, get educated on what the risks are or the problems. Yes, we can get in that analysis paralysis, but it is important to do your research and to learn and to educate yourself. And then you can make a decision based on what you know. Also, yes, some risks should not be taken. There's a reason why there's certain things that are told to you that, hey, maybe don't do this, right? Because it could lead to death. It could lead to a bad situation. And typically it does lead to a destructive path. And so you have to decide that for yourself. But no, just because some things and some risks should probably not be taken doesn't mean that all risks shouldn't be taken. And lastly, something I want to leave you with is that it's easy to believe that avoiding risk results in a life of safety, but that's typically wrong. The outcome of avoiding risks is not safety. It is regret. And so don't stay paralyzed any longer and figure out if it's worth it to take those risks and then go for it. All right. So I hope this video was helpful on learning a little bit more about risks and why you should take them and move through those feelings, figure what that out, what that is for you and figure out how to move on and get through it and decide what is worth it to you. And are you holding yourself back? Don't hold yourself back any longer from achieving the life that you want. Yes. Still think about things. I don't want you to just go out and do whatever you want to do. Don't, that's not what I'm saying, but think critically about something and think, are you holding yourself back in a certain area? And are you going to keep doing that? Is it time to put yourself out there and go for it and be the person and create what you want to create? So I hope this message was helpful to you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Not all risk is bad. Find the risk that you're willing to take. You got this.